Burp Suite allows you to intercept traffic acting as a proxy between the browser, such as Firefox, and the web server. This is configured on the Proxy tab. The main button is here under the Intercept sub-tab and can turn the interception feature on or off in general. However, the particulars are configured under the Options tab. There are two subsections under the Options tab. One allows you to configure the interception of client requests. Those are ones moving from the browser over to the server. Eventually the server will respond and this can be configured under the server responses section. By default, the intercept client request is automatically checked, but notice that the intercept server responses is unchecked by default. So if we have the interception turned on and we visit a page, we'll see that the request is intercepted. This request is from Firefox checking to see if there's any updates. If we drop these requests, eventually what we'll see is a request going through for the site. In our case, we're using Matilda for demonstration, so we see the request coming from Matilda heading over to the server. If we forward this request, this allows the request which is currently trapped inside of Burp Suite to go all the way over to the server where the server will respond. But under the default settings, we won't see the response come back. In fact, if we go back to Firefox, we'll see the response was already returned to the browser and the browser rendered the page. So now let's go to the Options tab and check the box to intercept server responses. We'll go back to the Intercept tab and turn the main intercept on and then redo the request by clicking on the home page link. Here's the request leaving the browser as we saw before. We'll forward this onto the server and the server responds with the web page. This time, we see the web page is trapped in the proxy because we enabled the capture response feature. And if we look back at Firefox, we'll notice it's still waiting. It hasn't received the response yet, of course, since it's still stuck over in the proxy. If we click forward again, now we're forwarding the response, which means we're forwarding back towards the browser. You can tell whether you're forwarding a request or response by looking above the forward button and it'll tell you whether it's a request heading to the server or a response coming from the server. So we click forward to allow that response to go back and see that the page is loaded again. When you first start intercepting with Burp Suite, it's important to note that you have to make sure that the intercept request and intercept responses are both checked. 